Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is AI? The behavior tree composite nodes. This is going to be a very short video. The composite nodes themselves are covered in more detail individually. This is just an overview of what is considered a composite node. So a composite node, you can right click anywhere in your graph and you'll see you have selector, sequence, and simple parallel. Let's go ahead and pull up each of these. And you'll notice for the most part, they are fairly similar. Now the composite nodes are gonna be our nodes that are gray in nature. They're gonna have our lines for connecting at the top. And then one of the things that if you're used to using normal nodes, you might find annoying. In order to move these, you're gonna to have to select them on the sides to move. If you try to drag from the top, of course, it's not gonna work. Now each of these has an individual use and individual quirkiness and parameters that can be set. Those are covered in the individual videos. But for the most part, you can think of a composite node as the root of a branch of the tree for your behavior tree. They can have decorators applied to them, they can have sequences and services that are ran on them, and they can fire off tasks or other composite nodes to fire off more roots of branches so that way they could fire off all more tasks, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. They can go as deep as you want. So, just to summarize it, composite nodes, they're the basic building block of your branches for your behavior tree. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Also, please see the individual videos for each of the composite nodes for more detail on how they're used.